Tomato pruning. This isn't one of those necessary chores like watering or mulching. Your plants can and will grow just fine without it. But if you're growing indeterminate or vine type tomatoes, most certainly your plants, and thus the harvest, can benefit from some managed pruning. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms, and welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, where in two minutes or less, we tackle your garden's most pressing issues. And today, it's all about pruning your tomatoes. Before we get started, let's touch on the four main reasons of why you'd want to prune your tomatoes in the first place. First up, it keeps the plants manageable. Indeterminate tomatoes know no bounds and will continue to grow forever if left unchecked. Second, you can maximize production by focusing on fruit development instead of ungodly amounts of foliage. Third, it improves air circulation to minimize pest and disease outbreaks. And finally, pruning your tomatoes allows them to shed unwanted lower leaves and stems that are simply a drain on the plants. And they can also be a conduit for pests and fungal outbreaks. Okay, we've made the leap to do it, so let's get to pruning. When managing our indeterminate tomatoes, there's two types of pruning. Removing the suckers and stem or foliar management. Let's focus on the suckers first because that's the easiest. Suckers are the easily identified 45 degree shoots that spring out of a stem axle. That is, where a side shoot meets the main trunk. Suckers are hyper vigorous shoots that are almost tomato plants unto themselves. Left alone and they'll just become main stems and will actually produce fruit pretty readily. Great stuff, but a single tomato plant can only do so much. And too many suckers left to run wild will be a massive drain on the plant. And most won't produce before the season comes to an end ironically leaving you with less of a tomato harvest overall. Pruning them is easy. No tools required. Just pinch off the little shoots with your fingers. They pop off surprisingly easy when they're young. As for how many to prune, I prune all the suckers up to the first branch of the plant with flower clusters. If you do this when flowering starts, you should only need to do this maybe once or twice a year. The second type of pruning is removing old or sick or really, really low branches. We do this to keep the airflow nice and high and the plant health at a premium. Using clean clippers, snip off any leaves that are touching the ground, and if you have to, remove entire branches. Don't go too crazy with this type of pruning, however. The plant does need foliage to protect the fruit from the ever-increasing heat of the summer sun. Usually, if you just focus on removing the leaves that are touching the ground, you know those really, really low ones, and any obvious sick or dying leaves, you'll be just fine. Hey. Happy pruning guys, and all the best with your tomatoes this year. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if garden quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.